Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video we're going to look at reasons why your VN sucks. And I've broken this down into a bit of a list. Before I get started though I want to say a huge thank you to everybody for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course a even bigger thank you to my members and patrons. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. If you are interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon linked in the description below or simply hit the join button next to the subscribe button under this video. So you've started your own visual novel, whether it's an adult VN or otherwise, and you're just not getting any traction with your growth. And there are a lot of reasons why this could be. I'm going to list the top six most popular reasons why this is the case. The first reason is your inability to write. Maybe you've got a great idea inside your head, but you just don't have a set of communication skills that facilitate being able to put your ideas down on paper in a way that appeals to other people. Unfortunately, there's no easy way around this problem. The only thing you can really do is spend some time doing creative writing and just really practice makes perfect on that one. Next up is lack of rendering ability. And this one simply boils down to just not being able to use the software that you are using to create the visual elements of your visual novel whether that be Das Studio or Photoshop or GIMP or Blender or whatever it is you're using, your lack of ability in that program means that you're pushing out really mediocre looking visuals. And of course, the only way to resolve that is to practice and get better at doing them. And watching this channel is obviously the best way to do that. The next one is no plan or direction. Again, maybe you've got a great idea for a storyline but in order to flesh that out into a game, you are just creating wishy-washy, uh, undirectional elements in your game, which just create the feeling of having no real direction at all. And the, the only way to resolve that is to just clip your game right back to the bare essentials, create the game that matches the storyline that you've created, and then see about adding extra elements. Maybe inspiration will come to you later on down the line, but you'll tend to find that people who are trying to create less linear games tend to lose their direction very quickly and that just leads to an unengaging and boring game. The next reason is overreaching. Now this is probably one of the more common ones in that I often see people trying to achieve things that they don't yet have the skill to do. Um, the most common thing being animations. I have yet to see an adult VN or any VN in fact that has really engaging animations in them. It generally just looks like they've got the bare essentials down and tried to create things that they are unable to create. Um, the only way around this really is to just be more realistic about your own abilities and those of the people that you're working with and just leave anything out that you think is going to make your game feel amateurish. The next one I'd say is probably being in it for the wrong reasons and I think this is possibly the most common one. A lot of people over the last few years have done very well out of creating visual novels. However, it's not an easy task by any stretch of the imagination and a lack of understanding about the complexities of game development of any kind of game does seem to be fairly prevalent these days. And that of course leads to people playing a game not being entirely satisfied with the game the way it panned out or the storyline or perhaps that the game isn't finished yet. And so people think that, oh, well, I can do a better job. And then they plunge in and start trying to code their own games. And um, very, very quickly, these people will realize that actually it's not that easy to create a game. And it's even harder to create a game where you're being funded by other people's donations um, to the point where the majority of these games don't get updated past the second month. And um, a lot of people are left very disappointed. 
And that, of course, spoils it for everybody else because patrons are a lot less likely to donate to a game for the second time around. So maybe someone did like your characters or your premise, they threw a tenner a month at you, and then two months later you've given up the ghost. That person is going to be a lot less likely to put their hand in their pocket again to a legitimate game developer, and that just makes it harder for everybody all around. Which brings me to my final point, and that is being in it for the money. Creating video games can be very lucrative, but it is a labor of love. You don't get into this for the money straight away because it's just not there. You'd have to be absolutely lucky, and the visual novels that are out there that have been very successful, there wasn't any particular skill involved in that. That was really just a case of the planets aligning and Lady Luck smiling on those people. They were just in the right place at the right time. The people who managed to get on to becoming AAA developers, they are very few and far between because gamers are a very ruthless bunch and if they don't like something, they will tell you. The short and the long of it is if you think that you're going to have an easy time making money out of computer games development, then you seriously need a reality check because it's just not going to happen. The vast majority of people who make computer games these days are doing it as a hobby because there is just too much competition out there. There are too many options for people to put their hands in their pockets and there are very few people who are willing to donate to unknown entities as well. So those are my top reasons why your visual novel sucks. I hope you found that insightful. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Until then guys, take care of yourselves. Bye bye.